Emotions, Suffering, and Feeling Emotions are an emanation of the mind-body false self. They're an action that reflects exactly what conditioning is being acted out in the dream the false self lives within. They are never a true representation of who you really are. Suffering is a direct manifestation of the belief in victims, born of the belief in separation. There's no such thing as a victim. The emotions flood through victimhood consciousness, expanding the experience of suffering and validating victimhood to the self through the agonizing masks that it wears. The false self will respond to the statement that there's no victims as an outrage, a monstrous lie devoid of all compassion. And it has many supporters. It will shout, you have no idea what I've suffered through for years. Or how can you say the millions of starving children around the world are not suffering as victims? But God is one, appearing as many. It is not separated and does not shoot itself in the foot. You and all that seem to suffer are God in disguise, playing a vital role in the transformation of consciousness back to the awareness of itself as God. Consider how the appearance of so-called suffering in one or many opens even the coldest shut heart, if only a little. This is God unveiling itself to itself. Feeling is an instrument used by the true self, God individuated, to expose the deeply buried conditioning that hides or veils the truth of who you truly are. Not to be confused with emotions when, for example, someone says, I don't want to hurt your feelings. The self cannot be hurt, insulted, offended, manipulated, or influenced in any way by the false self. If you're experiencing something that triggers you, such as the sudden departure of a spouse, who has just run away with someone else, you will go through many expressions of emotion. Depending on how frustrated you are with the drama or the dream of your life, your true self will step forward and choose to feel beneath the emotions and find the ancient conditioning that is the real cause of all the drama and stories. In this case, deep-seated feelings of abandonment and betrayal may come up. Anger, rage, hatred may be followed by deep sorrow, hopelessness and helplessness, all connected completely from the current story that triggered these feelings. If, as the true self, after feeling these feelings completely, you choose to embrace them, no matter how terrible, ugly, and painful they are, then grace, which is love in action, will transform that layer of conditioning for you. Emotions and suffering, if believed in as a victim, expand the false self's dream of separation. Feeling beneath these illusions, no matter how real they may seem, reveals the truth of who you really are.